हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव मैं आप सभी का अपने चैनल में स्वागत करता हूं टुडे आवर प्रेजेंटेशन टाइटल इज एग्रीकल्चर रिवोल्यूशन इन इंडिया भारत की कृषि क्रांति इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वेरियस रिवोल्यूशन लाइक ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन जिसे हरित क्रांति भी बोला जाता है येलो रिवोल्यूशन ब्लू रिवोल्यूशन व्हाइट रिवोल्यूशन जिसे कि ऑपरेशन फ्लड भी बोलते हैं पिंक रिवोल्यूशन ब्लैक रिवोल्यूशन एट्सेट्रा विच प्लेट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इन आवर कंट्री होप दिस प्रेजेंटेशन विल बी वेरी वेरी यूजफुल टू द कैंडिडेट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर वेरियस एग्रीकल्चर कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड जनरल कंपटिशन इन डिटेल्स स्टडी विल बी डन इन नेक्स्ट कमिंग स्लाइड्स सो नाउ वी विल मूव टू द प्रजेंटेशन Here we have shown the pie diagram of agriculture revolutions in India. First one is green revolution, which objective was to increase food grain production and become country self-dependent in this agriculture production. Second was protein revolutions, which also known as technology-driven second green revolutions, and aim was for higher production of agriculture products. Third was red revolutions, which related to meat and tomato production increase. Fourth was black revolutions, which was related to increase of crude oil and biodiesel, biofuel production for petroleum industry. Fifth was brown revolutions, which aim was to increase leather and cocoa production. Sixth is blue revolutions, which was related to aquaculture and increasing the fish production in country. Seventh was evergreen revolutions, which related to uh, overall agriculture production increase. Eighth was Silver revolution, which is related to poultry industry, and it aims was to increase eggs and poultry production. Ninth, golden fiber revolution, which is related to jute crop and production of jute fiber to meet the fiber demand of the country. Tenth was silver fiber revolution, which is related to cotton crop, and objective was to in increase cotton production and ultimately supply of cotton lean for the textile industry. And eleventh, golden revolution. Which was related to horticulture department and increasing of uh, fruits and honey production and development of horticulture. Twelfth, round revolutions, which was related to increase of potato production. Thirteenth, pink revolutions, which was objective aims to increase onion production, pharmaceutical cross production, and this uh, in aquaculture prawns production. Fourteenth, grey revolutions, which was related to a fertilizer industry and aim was to increase uh, fertilizer production and supply to the farming community in a, a required uh, quantity 15th yellow revolution which was related to oil seed uh, crop production to supply oil uh, to the country in a, a demand demand way 16th white revolution which was related to uh, milk production increase and supply whatever the country requirements this was all about agriculture revolutions in india here we have shown the various revolutions and their founders the first one is green revolutions which was founded by dr norman borlaug dr ms swaminathan to increase agriculture food grain production in our country second one is protein revolutions which was coined by PM Narendra Modi and Finance Minister Arun Jaitley for higher production. It can be termed as technology driven second green revolution. One is red revolution, which was started by Vishal Tiwari to emphasis on meat production and tomato production. Then black revolution, it relates to crude oil, petroleum products, and biodiesel products. Brown revolution, which was started by Dr. Hiralal Chaudhary for increase of leather. and cocoa production and non conventional products blue revolution which was started by dr arun krishnan to increase fish production in our country evergreen revolution which was started by dr m s swaminathan in 11th fifth plan to enhance overall agriculture production silver revolution which was started by ms indira gandhi for enhancing egg production and poultry production in our country then golden fiber revolution relates to jute production enhancement silver fiber revolution to increase cotton production golden revolution which was 
funded by nirpex footage for increasing fruits honey and horticulture developments then the round revolutions to increase the potato production in our country then the pink revolutions which was started by durgesh patel for increase of onion production pharmaceuticals products and prawns production then grey revolutions which relates to increasing fertilizer production then yellow revolutions which was initiated by mr sam pitroda to increase the oil seed production especially mustard safflower and sunflower to meet demand then white revolution this is also called operation flood which was started by varghese kurian to enhance milk production in our country here we will discuss about green revolution harith kranti the green revolution in india refers to a period when a indian agriculture was converted into an industrial system due to the adoption of modern methods and technology such as use of high yielding varieties tractors irrigation facilities pesticides and inclusion of fertilizers it was mainly founded by dr m s swaminathan and this was part of larger green revolution endeavor initiated by dr normal borlog which leveraged agriculture research and technology to increase agriculture productivity in the developing world the main purpose was to save over a billion people from starvation the green revolution within india commenced in 1958 that led to an increase in food grain production especially in punjab haryana and uttar pradesh major milestones in this undertaking were the development of high yielding varieties of wheat and rust resistance strains of wheat and increasing rice production the green revolution or third agriculture revolution is set of research technology transfer initiatives occurring between 1950 and the late 1960s that increase agricultural production worldwide particularly in the developing world beginning most markedly in the late 1960s here we will discuss about green revolution in india green revolution relates to agriculture where food grains production the green revolution changed the life of about 70% population dependent on agriculture there was five times increase in production of food grains from 50 tons to 250 million tons and it has resulted a buffer stock of nearly 55.5 million tons and export of more than 7.46 in rice and 4.27 million tons in wheat in 2012 the four fold increase in oil seed production 8 to 30 million tons rescued the country from higher import of edible oil the production of fruits and vegetable has increased three times in last 50 years and we are the second largest producers in the world potato revolution is not only parallel to that of wheat but also higher magnitude than that of rice so there is a great significant results relates to food grain production in our country because of green revolution now we will discuss what are the effects of green revolutions the first one increase in production and productivity second there were new agricultural strategy to enhance productivity and production third change in cropping pattern and multiple cropping involvement in agriculture there was development of different industries related to agriculture changes in attitude and farmers training and education department were established and there were scientific cultivation and package programs like use of high yielding varieties use of chemicals and fertilizer pesticide inclusion for plant protection development of irrigation practices and use of improved machines and tools like tractors pump sets etc for is a modern technology and improving the yields and productivity then processing storage and marketing facilities were improved there were focus on dry land development there were increased income and price incentives for farmers improved credit facilities there were more emphasis on agriculture research and technology and for availability of better nutrition to the population so these all were having the positive impacts of 
green revolution this slide about white revolution shwet kranti ke bare mein jo ki dugdh utpadan se related hai the white revolution known as operation flood was launched in 1970 it was an initiative by india national dairy development board nddp and was the world's biggest dairy development program it transformed india from a milk deficient nation into the world largest milk producer country this white revolution is related to milk and dairy products and its founder was milkman of india father of the white revolution varghese kurian white revolution is the success story of dairy cooperative movement in the country and it is intended to be the same time parallel complementary supplementary and corrective to the green revolution one side there was green revolution in our country and parallel side there was white revolution and there were both has impact sig- significant and collaborative effects on its success to the country increasing food grain production and increasing milk production here the topic of yellow revolution pili kranti this is relates to oil seed crops jaise ki hum jante hain ki oil seed tilani faslein usme se tel nikala jata hai jiska rang peela hota hai yellow color hota hai isi ke basis par isko jo oil seeds crops se related jo bhi hamara revolution hai usko yellow revolution ka naam diya gaya this is called yellow revolution because of yellow color of oil seeds produce as oil yellow revolution in india is implementation of hybrid mustard and sesamum seed took place which increased the production of edible oil by the significant amount it was launched in 1987 sam pitroda is known as father of yellow revolution the growth development and adoption of new varieties of oil seed and techno- technologies were implemented which resulted good increase in oil seed production oil seeds edible oil especially mustard sesame oil sun, sunflower crops were mainly focused and indian oil seed production scenario from a net importer net importer status in the 1980 century to a near self sufficient conversion status during the early 90s has been popularly termed as the yellow revolution earlier we were de- dependent and other countries and we were net importer but now in early 90s we were converted to self sufficient producing nation so it is called as yellow revolution some important points like we in 1986-87 there was production of only 11 million tons which increased to 32 million tons in during season 2010 to 2011 the main contributors to this factor in the yellow revolution was the oil seed production technology expansion in area under oil seed price in increase and market intervention support policies and institutional supports these these factors created contribution for the success of yellow revolution the latter experience a spectacular increase in area yield and production whereas the pulses remained stagnant pulses area is, is not increasing in that way but oil seed production area significantly increased then protein revolution the protein revolution was started newly started program uh, which is aimed for increasing higher agriculture production which is also termed as a technology driven second green revolution committing a sustained growth of 4% in the farm sector the government announced a technology driven second green revolution with emphasis on higher productivity and a protein revolution focusing on pulse crops some important points of protein revolutions were like uh, government has set up a price stabilization fund uh, for the benefit of the farmers and promoting organic farming water conservation and in, uh, and implementation of new technologies and the agriculture technology fund uh, will be used to make farming uh, competitive and profitable after that the, these uh, there, there were actions for providing every farmer soil health card also to for the their soil t- to approach soil testing laboratory and use of fertilizers according according as per requirement 
देन अदर्स रिवोल्यूशन लाइक ब्लू रिवोल्यूशन जिसे हम नीली क्रांति बोलते हैं जो कि फिश प्रोडक्शन से रिलेटेड है द कंसेप्ट ऑफ रेपिड इंक्रीज इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फिश एंड मेराइन प्रोडक्ट थ्रो पैकेज प्रोग्राम इज कॉल्ड ब्लू रिवोल्यूशन इट वॉज लॉन्च इन इंडिया ड्यूरिंग द सेवेंथ फाइव ईयर प्लान वेन द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट स्पॉन्सर्ड द फिश फार्मर्स डेवलपमेंट एजेंसी एफ एफ डी एट दैट टाइम नाउ गोल्डन रिवोल्यूशन ए सिग्निफिकेंट इंक्रीज इन हॉर्टिकल्चर प्रोडक्शन इज कॉल्ड गोल्डन रिवोल्यूशन इन इंडिया इन इंडिया द पीरियड नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन टू टू थाउजेंड टू इज टर्म इज गोल्डन रिवोल्यूशन इन इन दिस पीरियड विटनेस्ड a tremendous increase in the productivity in horticulture there were increase in fruits and honey production so it was termed as a golden revolution for horticultural crops another important revolution is brown revolution which is often associated with the organic farming and improving the quality and it is maximum uh, uh, mostly focusing uh, leather uh, leather production this cocoa production and non conventional products in tribal belts it is happening in the tribal areas of visakhapatnam district and the tribal people are being uh, taught encourage uh, trained for growing environment friendly and socially responsible coffee to counter the demand so this was all about the revolutions which took part in our country for the development of agriculture in our country hope this presentation will be very very help helpful to all of you thank you very much for your kind attention see you again shortly